Hello viewers, here is the Air King 9218. has a little bit of a shake to it, so I want to see if I can resolve that. I don't think I can completely fix it, but I think I may be able to make it better. If you look at the center of the, the hub here, I'm going to spin this up in a second. You can kind of see that it looks like the blade is not exactly centered on the shaft. And that may be the cause of the shake. I've also noticed the blades are not exactly in line forwards and back, if you will. They're a little bit out of clock. So I can fix the clock issue. I can't fix the centering issue. So I imagine most of the shake is coming from the centering issue, but we'll see if we can make it a little better. Now while we are in here, I want to note two things. The blades are a little bit dirty. So it looks like, you see on there a little bit, um, it looks like this may have been assembled by hand. Uh, the other thing I want to note is it's very, very well made. It's nicely riveted on with three rivets onto the hub. It's, it, the, the hub is a very thick gauge steel and it doesn't really bend at all. It's a, it's a pretty solid, really nice blade set. Um, the other thing is these are steel blades and they're huge so if this is you know ever so slightly out of balance it's gonna shake just because of the weight of the blades so what I'm gonna do here is it, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on video or not but there's two blades actually one in particular that's a little bit more forwards it's this one right here so I'm just going to push this back a little bit and even that probably didn't make any difference I'm going to pull forward a little bit. This this blade's still a little bit too forwards. I can hardly even get this to bend. That's pretty good. Let's power it on and see if that made any difference. If that didn't make any difference, that's about all we can do. I'm not really concerned about it because as I said in the other video, this is a ball bearing fan. And ball bearings are a lot more resilient to vibration than sleeve bearings are. So it's probably not going to cause a longevity issue. See, this is another thing right here. You can see it's spinning backwards. That means one of these blades is heavier than the others. And I'm going to say it's this one. Because if I put it that, like that way, it turns this way. And if I put it like this, it's probably going to spin down. Yeah, so, so this blade is a little bit heavier than the others. And looking at the way this is spinning this this side of the blade like right here is the side that's a little further out from the shaft so I think it's an issue of this hole wasn't drilled exactly into the center of the blades now I'm noticing there's a little notch in the center there I'm not sure what that's for anyways let's turn it on I'll just turn off on low here see how bad it shakes Yeah, it's still shaking, but it may be a little better. Nah, I don't know. It shakes. Actually, it's shaking pretty good. I 
I have to admit that's very disappointing that it shakes like that. It should not, in this price range, it should not shake. There's one other thing I can try. I find that blade that's heavy again. Is it this blade? Yeah, it's this blade. If I take this blade and I push this blade back, that may change the way it interacts with the center of gravity on the blades themselves, on the blade unit as a whole. I don't think that really made any difference, but let's try it. Just out of curiosity. Um, maybe it made it a little better. It still shakes a little bit, but I can't really tell if that was any better or not. Well, I think I'm going to leave this alone at this point because it's not to the point where it's unusable and I don't think it's really going to cause any harm to the bearings. It's just more of a personal irritation to know that it shakes when it's relatively expensive and shouldn't shake. Oh well. <laughs>